Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. So it's very good to see all of you again. So previously I shared with you how you can perform the OS discovery using MMAP. In today's session, I will share with you how you can do a scanning of network using MMAP as well. So scanning on network also includes the ports that are open and you also can see whether the target machine has a firewall turned on or not. So let's get into it. So first, you have to launch uh, ZMAP as a root user. So what you can do is go to properties. Then go to launcher. Then copy the command. Then go to the sudo in the front. Launch it. Okay, OK. So let's do a TCP uh, full connect scan first. So what are the commands? So first, put your target machine, 2.15. Then you change this to ST. So this is the command for the TCP full connect scan. So T means a TCP. And V means the purpose, means you will show all the ports that are open. And S, of course, is a scan. So let's scan. So as you can see here, 995 are filter ports. Filter ports means the firewall is up. So these are the open ports that are visible to us. So as you can see here, so what if, let's say, we want to uh, scan and then we do not want anyone to find out? Because when the firewall is up, and uh, sometimes they can lock like who, which computer actually scan the target machine. So what we can do is to do a stealth scan. Now, stealth scan means that you can do it uh, in a stealth manner. So what it does is that it actually resets the TCP connection between client and server abruptly before the completion of a three-way handshake. So in a normal uh, data, uh, in a normal circumstances to establish a connection, TCP need to go through a three-way handshake with the target machine. So in this case, when you perform a stealth scan, you actually reset the TCP connection. So it will leave it half open. So it did not complete the whole connection. So in this way, you can actually bypass firewall rules and locking mechanism and even hide under a network traffic so that it remains undetectable by the target machine or by a IDS or uh, other kind of uh, devices. So what you can do is you change this to S and you scan. Okay, so you will get back after the same result. Okay, so next I want to introduce you to another tool that can help you determine whether the firewall is up or not, which is called the Christmas scan, which is Xmas scan. So with this scan, you determine whether a firewall has been configured on the target machine. So what is a Christmas scan? Basically, Christmas scan sends a flag set such as a fin, PSH, and URG flags over to the uh, TCP connection. When it does that, it will light up the packet like a Christmas tree, therefore the name. FIN also represents a finish. So basically that one is for a termination of a TCP connection. So once all the data packets are being transferred over, then it will send over this fin packet to terminate the whole connection. And for PSH and the URG, that is for the data transfer connection. So PSH stands for the push function. So it indicates that the content of the TCP will receive the buffer and it will be passed to the application layer protocol. So the data in the receive buffer right must be a continuous block of data from the left edge of the buffer. So URG on the hand is for urgent uh, pointers. So in, in a sense, they indicate that this uh, packet is uh, urgent and must be processed immediately. So that's what we will do right now and let's click uh, scan
So just wait for a while. And it's done. So as you can see here, all 1000 scan ports are open and filtered. So in the sense that when you see this, you, you will know that these are our target has a firewall up. So let me show you the difference. So now I have uh, so this is the window server. So now the window firewall is up. So let's take a look if let's say we turn it off. Okay, so it's off now. So let's try the scan again. So as you can see here now, these are 1000 scan ports are closed. Okay, so there's no more on the filter integration. So this is how you can check whether the firewall is up or not. Okay, so next I'm going to show you another scan. It's called the ACK flat probe. So what it does is that change this to A and it sends the acknowledgement packet over with a random uh, sequence number. So if there's no response, it means that the port is filtered and the stateful firewall is up. So if there's a response, means the port is not filtered. Okay. So let's take a look. So keep in mind that now my firewall is down. So we scan. And we are done. So you can see here, now it says that all are unfiltered, means the firewall is down. So now I'm going to show you the last scan. So this one is slightly interesting. I will create a profile first to show you that actually you can create a profile in MMAP and when you want to launch a scan, you can just use that profile to scan it. So let's do a new profile. So this time around we do a TCP now scan. So basically it sets the TCP flag header to zero and the packet is empty. Okay, so let's give a name first. So let's do a now scan. And next we do a scan. So this is correct. Let's do a now scan. Then we can choose a timing. So th this is the speed template. So dash T5 minutes is the fastest, and this one is the slowest. So we choose aggressive. So enable all advanced aggressive option. So basically this aggressive scan will give you more details on the OS version and the script that's running and more details on the machine. Okay, so you click on this and then save changes. So now you click on this, then you go to now scan and you can scan it. So this time now the scanning is more in-depth, so it really takes quite a while to finish scanning. So I will not show in this uh, demonstration. And uh, so that's it for this uh, simple demonstration on how you can use a uh, map to scan open and close port and to detect whether the firewall is up or not. So. If you like this video, I appreciate you give a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next session.